Hello friends, my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to uh, create a web logic JMS example using Q as a destination. So in previous video tutorial, I have shown you how to configure uh, JMS component on web logic server. In this video tutorial, we are going to uh, make use of the Q connection factory, uh, sorry, connection factory as well as uh, Q and uh, Q as a destination where we are going to post some messages and we'll read same messages from the Q, right? So I have already created a project with JMS Q example. So you need to create a, a simple Java program like how you create in Eclipse, right? Java project new and you go to the something like project and create a Java project. That's it. You don't need to create any web based kind of application right so this will work so basically i have written a client program to post a message on the queue and uh, read a message from the queue right so once you create the java project then you need to add a library something is called wl theme 3 clientjar so and this library will get uh, from your web logic installation directory so here i have installed web logic in this if drive if you go to the installation directory then you have a wl server inside the wl server you have a server right and within that you get the leaf folder and here you get this jar so there are many jars if you are not able to search then even you can try to search by writing over here here you will have to write a star uh, thin t h i n star dot jar and here is the jar this jar you need to so simply you need to copy like this and paste in or some make a folder like leaf folder and paste it over here and right click on the project uh, go to the uh, project build path and simply click on the libraries and add jars you will have to do and go to the your leaf folder uh, already i have added this jar that's why this leaf folder is not visible select this jar and add in your class path so that i have done so uh, uh, that's why this jar is uh, visible in my class path uh, if you do not add this jar file then a lot of compilation error you will get and uh, now uh, you will have to uh, now this code already i have written offline uh, actually this code is pretty straightforward code so that's why i am typing uh, in this video this code will take a lot of time so that's why i have um, uh, created this uh, project offline and I will try to explain uh, each and every piece of this code in this video right so before that you need to start the web logic server right so go to the here installation directory so my installation directory is f as I, as I have shown you so here is my installation directory and go to the user projects and inside the domain we have a domain one there we had uh, created our jms component right jms uh, servers as well as jms modules and inside this you have a bean folder right here you will have to start the server so let's uh, open a command prompt on this location <coughs> and here we will have to write start we will have to type start w and press tab so this is the script to run the web logic server and press enter and let's wait for the few seconds to start, start the server now server is started let's open a browser and uh, type this url all right so once you type this url and press enter then uh, admin console will come and here you need to specify your username and password right which you had given at the time of installation and press enter and it will navigate on the uh, web logic administrator console and here uh, you have a something is called uh, jms modules right so click on the jms module and jms module uh, we had created an info system module in previous video tutorial so go to inside this and inside this you have a queue right so we are planning to push the message into a queue 
post the message into the queue. So click on the queue and here go to the monitoring and monitoring let's select this queue and click on the show message so right now there is no message in the queue so we have written the client program using this client program we can post the message into a queue so this is basically my uh, jms uh, uh, queue message center is a client program so here you can see i have declared some variables on the top of this class like queue center queue and text message and this all import happens from the package which is called uh, javax.jms and this is coming from the uh, this jar which I added in our class path right so that's why I told you to add this jar in your class path else you'll get a lot of compilation error right so these are the requirement required variable we have declared on the top of this class and first of all I have an init method right so we want to some initialize some uh, resources so that's why we have a init method and there was some uh, common code so that uh, I have refactored I kept into this separate class and I have given the JMS util class name and here we have declared some required variable like uh, QJNDI name, weblogic, JMS URL, uh, weblogic, JNDI factory name right uh, we have also given the uh, connection factory JNDI name which we had cre created in earlier video tutorial right so these are the required variable we have declared over here and uh, we, we are just calling this method inside the init method we are calling this method uh, uh, get initial context and we are just creating a uh, first of all we are creating a map and uh, in this map we are putting the required uh, uh, jms uh, uh, variable as a key value right like jms url username password and JNDI etc and this uh, hash table I'm passing to the initial context and finally this in the initial context is getting returned to the caller so that's the pretty straightforward right and this returns us the queue session and here we are just calling the uh, on context we are calling the lookup method and by passing the queue name and we get just we are type passing the queue and calling queue sender uh, just uh, creating a queue sender by calling a method is called create sender on queue session and passing this queue name right this queue object and finally we are trying to create a text message right so we can create the different kind of message so here i'm taking an example of the text message right and these are the private methods which is getting called from the main method we have on again send method so which what message you want to send so that you have to pass and that message basically i'm sending into the text message object and finally calling queue sender a method is called send in the queue sender and this message i'm passing and this is method for the cleanup operations so this is basically here i have written this cleanup operation which closes the queue session and uh, queue connection object and uh, queue sender i'm calling over uh, closing over here because this belongs to this class right and i have a method is called read and send right so basically this will basically reads the message and sending to the uh, queue right posting to the queue that's the pretty straightforward right uh, you can go through this i i understand you can easily easily found what is i have written over here now main method just i'm creating object of this class and just calling this initial context again which i already have shown you and uh, here creating an object of this class itself calling the init method calling the read and send method which reads the message and sending to the queue right that's it pretty straightforward now what i'll do i'll run this program and i'll post some messages on the queue So here saying the enter messages quit to quit so here uh, i'm going to send message as shown your order is processed 
and your order your order number is right suppose you have created some kind of order processing application so this kind of message you can send like this similarly i can type another message i am martin your order is processed and your order number is something different right and just i want to type the quit now so do quit so after that you cannot type any message and now let's go to the verify whether my queue contains this message or not so here go to the admin console console again and click on the jms module and jms module we have a info system module inside that uh, click on the uh, your queue here yeah, that is and click on the monitoring and here select this queue and click on the show messages and here you can see th there are three messages pending so you can see first of all, last message was quit so in queue uh, uh, when you add messages then uh, queue basically that is the uh, uh, first in first out right so if you go to the again here now go to the monitoring then last message what we have you can see it's second message uh, this is the uh, first message right so you can see hi shown your order is processed and your order is something like this right so this is our uh, first message right similarly you can see now you can see second messages uh, about the martin so that is over here and here you can see a lot of attribute right like message id type timestamp priority right uh, correlation id these are the attributes you can even set in the your source code itself so when you create a message right when you create message text message if you go to the inside the text message this gives you privilege to set a lot of attribute like uh, set correlation id and etc so when you create a message here so here let us this provides a lot of certain methods here, right set uh like jms correlation id right and there are a lot of certain methods so those those attributes you can set from here itself so i hope uh, you understood how jms works so this i mean three i mean two messages we have pushed into the queue and third message was nothing but quit message, right? Quit. We have type quit. So that is also posted in the queue. So in this video tutorial, I have shown you how to basically post a message in the queue. So next video tutorial, I am going to explain another class. It's called the JMS queue message receiver, right? So here, this class is pretty straightforward. Uh, that is uh, queue message sender. Uh, right and that I, I have explained to you so because uh, i'm running out of time that's why i didn't explain i mean everything in, in depth but i'm very much sure this code i'm going to put on the github and uh, you can download this code from the github and github location i will specify in the video description itself and try to set up uh, uh, jms uh, queue and jms connection factory etc and uh, whatever connection factory or and JMS uh, queue you are setting on WebLogic, accordingly you need to specify your name in the JMS util class, right? So you are free to choose any name. So same name you will have to specify here. And when you run this program, then I'm very much sure you, are, you will be able to post the message on the queue. So thanks for watching this video and see you next video tutorial.